One of the biggest questions about Avengers Infinity War that a lot of the fans and personally myself have about Avengers Infinity War is what is up with Thor's hammer? Is Thor going to be getting a new hammer in this movie or is he going to be completely left out with no hammer at all? And I personally have a theory on this and I think he definitely is going to be getting a brand new hammer and definitely something that we've never seen in any movie before. So guys, if you guys want to see my Avengers Infinity War Thor's hammer theory, make sure you guys definitely stay tuned. How's it going, Webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh, and before we get in this video, make sure you guys definitely subscribe to Webhead for more on the Avengers Infinity War and Thor within Avengers Infinity War. I have plenty of those videos coming out on my channel. Make sure you guys definitely turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything on my channel. I have plenty of uploads coming out in the future. Of course, make sure you guys definitely smash that like button if you guys like this video. And of course, comment below and let me know, do you guys think my theory is true? Do you guys think it's completely false? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear your opinions about this. But with all that out of the way, let's get in the video, Webbeds. Now, starting off this theory, I think we all can definitely say that Thor is going to be getting a different weapon in Avengers Infinity War. And really to prove this, we have to go back to January 2017 when the Avengers Infinity War featurette first came out and they showed that Rocket and Thor in a concept art, Thor had a different hammer and this hammer looked a lot like the axe Thunderbolt from the Ultimate Marvel Universe. Also, there's been plenty of other photos that have come out from the Avengers Infinity War set showing that Thor's regular hammer, Mjolnir, is in there, but I feel as though Mjolnir is actually not gonna be the hammer, it's going to be the Axe Thunderbolt, just because of that concept art that was released back in January. Not only were those two images shown for Avengers Infinity War, but also if we look in the trailer, we can definitely see that Thor is struggling to hold this object of some sort together. And I speculate that that actually is going to be the machine that actually recreates Mjolnir as the axe Thunderbolt. Now, a lot of people speculate that this object that Thor's holding together actually is going to be the ship that the Asgardians escaped on when Asgard was destroyed, but then Thanos showed up and now Thanos is going to destroy that ship and Thor's holding it together with everything that he has. But I actually think that is not the ship at all. Instead, this is going to be an object that's going to be helping Thor create Mjolnir again as the Axe Thunderbolt. Now, back in the comic books, Mjolnir and the Axe Thunderbolt, along with the Infinity gauntlet actually were created by the dwarves and King Eitri. And obviously King Eitri is the king of the dwarves. So they create some of the most powerful weapons in all of the Marvel Universe, but actually how are they able to do this? Well, Mjolnir was actually forged in the heart of a dying star. Now that's something that definitely never really occurs in the Marvel Universe and we never really see that happen. I doubt that Avengers Infinity War, that's an event that's going to be happening within the movie. But I speculate that this object or machine that Thor is holding to together is actually creating that event of the heart of a dying star. So I think that the dwarves actually use this machine to create the new hammer, the axe thunderbolt that Thor is going to be using within Avengers Infinity War. Now showing some proof that King Eitri is actually going to be in this movie. Peter Dinklage is actually cast in Avengers Infinity War as an unknown role. And I speculate that he's actually going to be King Eitri instead of what many speculate that he was actually going to be Pip the Troll, the sidekick to Adam Warlock. I don't think that's going to be true at all. I actually did believe that at some point, but now I think that it definitely makes so more sense that King Eitri is going to be that character that Peter Dinklage actually plays in Avengers Infinity War. Now showing the dwarves in this movie definitely connects with Avengers Infinity War because they created the Infinity Gauntlet in the comic books. Now that definitely could tell Thor a lot more about the Infinity Gauntlet, how to stop it, maybe how to prevent Thanos from getting all the Infinity Stones. They definitely can use that in the movie and that could be definitely a separate storyline and we already know that in the concept art Rocket and Thor are going to be working together and Groot is going to be coming along with them to go to the red planet to look for Thor's new weapon so they can help the Avengers defeat Thanos with the axe thunderbolt. This of course was revealed in a Lego set that I actually had a video on and the title of the Lego set was actually the search for Thor's new weapon and this Lego set actually included Thor, Rocket, and Groot so obviously that concept art that showed in 
January. It definitely lines up with this Lego set. And this would definitely line up with, say, Peter Dinklage's role in Avengers Infinity War as King Eitri and the dwarf showing up in the movie to explain the Infinity Gauntlet and help Thor create his new hammer. It seems as though everything is lining up and definitely Thor is going to need a new hammer because Hela actually destroyed his old one and he never got a new one in Thor Ragnarok. So I definitely think that this theory actually could happen in Avengers Infinity War. But guys, let me know down in the comments below, do you guys think that this entire theory actually could happen in Avengers Infinity War? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to hear your opinions on this. Make sure you guys definitely smash that like button if you guys like this video and you want to see more just like it. Of course, subscribe to Webbed for more Avengers Infinity War fan theories and theories to come out. Make sure you guys definitely turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything on my channel. And of course, click right over here so you guys can get another Avengers Infinity War theory. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye bye. Alrighty, Webheads, if you guys like the video and you guys want to see more, make sure you guys definitely subscribe right over here to Webhead. I have plenty more videos coming out on my channel for Avengers Infinity War. Of course, make sure you guys definitely turn on that notification bell so you guys become a part of the Webhead notification squad. And check out my social media links in the description below so you guys can follow me on various social media networks and the two videos below me I think you guys would really, really enjoy. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.